Hello, this is the status check board, and this is pretty easy to understand. You see a preview on the grid when you first load this template, and it just allows you to have check boxes in rows and columns. Um, so in my case, I've got you know some projects that I'm tracking to see how far along they are in the process, and it just is really easy. I don't have to go into a form view to make updates. I can just toggle these check boxes on and off. So that's the concept. Anywhere you have a list of records or projects and you just want to have check boxes, then you can use this template. In order to use this template, you're going to be setting up a list with yes, no columns. So in SharePoint, I've got a list here and I've created several yes, no columns. Um, and this is where I'm going to be applying my template. In order to use this template, you just want to go in and uh, apply a few settings. So I need a title. So I'm going to call this um, projects tracking. And then uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I need to specify the amount of fields. Under SharePoint field names, that's where we need to do the configuration. So if I scroll down a little bit, I'm going to use the title field. So that is the first item that I need to put in. That's the label that appears on the left. And then after that, I'm going to put in my field names. Now there's a special way that you need to enter field names for this template. We have abbreviated column names in the top and that's how, so that we can keep those columns narrow, which fits the look and feel that we want for this template for those check boxes. So what we do is provide an abbreviation, which will be used for the column header and then we provide the actual field name after a colon. You'll see how that works in one second. So my first two fields are setup and scoping. And so um, I'm just going to say set for the label and then I'm going to put a colon and put the uh, full field name and then I'll put SEO for scoping and then put the full, full field name. I do need to set my field count at eight. That's how many I'm using in my case. You can set up as many as 20 if you've got a whole bunch of columns you want to do. Um, but in any case, just make sure that you set for the uh, correct number of fields. Okay, so we did set up and scoping. Next is proposal and sign off. Those are the fields I'm using. So I'm going to do SIG and then sign off. Um, oh, whoops, I meant to do proposal first. Okay, so pro. Proposal, SIG, sign off, and we've got three more. Kickoff, testing, and go live. So my fields are KO for kickoff, TST for testing, and then uh, I'll put LIV for go live. And that's it. I've configured everything and you can, of course, adjust the look and feel. You can pick whichever colors you like. And in the bottom under the notes, you can see examples of all kinds of different icons you might use for your checkboxes. So lots of possibilities in terms of how you can make your uh, checkboard look. So I'm ready to go. I'm going to copy my template and you just follow the directions in the box. I can come over to SharePoint. I want to go to the view selector. Format Current View, Advanced Mode, Select All, Paste, and Save. Okay, there's my checkboard. And what's really cool is this is fully interactive. So as you can tell, I can just um, toggle checkboxes on and off. Now if I hover over a column header, you can't see it very well uh, with my large cursor, but it will show you the full column name. And then the other feature is that if I click on the um, title on the left hand side, that's going to open up the edit form in case there's more fields that you want to edit. So that's everything you need to do in order to do this. And also you've got a uh, hover color if you want to do something different for that. You've also got alternating row colors that just makes it easier uh, to kind of know where you are when you're going from left to right across the rows. So that's it. That's everything that you need to know in order to take advantage of this checkboard status template. This is available at SharePoint dashboards.com. 
If you don't yet have access to the site, you can get signed up for 21 free templates. And we do have a new help section uh, tutorial, which you can access, which will um, allow you to get in and do new user training. Hope you find that useful. Good luck.